in many, many, many ways, it was a lot more relaxed because Family Man had to be done in, well, I was, I was lucky. I had six months, I think. Um, two or th two and a half or three of which I was unable to utilize because Elliot was on his European vacation and then came back and wanted a break from, <laughs> from it all. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, we were a lot more relaxed on, on this movie uh, because we had an open-ended timeline, really, even though, you know, we obviously wanted to not take forever. Dinesh and I agreed, we're going to take our time on this one, and I think about a year into production, <laughs> he came to me and said, wow, we're really uh, living up to that, aren't we? We're really taking our time with this. Um, and uh, Family Man was a very stressful uh, time for me because in addition to what was going on in life, I... Uh, I had to have this movie done and I was dealing with a lot of uh, external factors uh, beyond my control, uh, talent issues and uh, environmental issues since it was, we started in September, everything was changing at that point. We had all these exterior shots. Um, so I was dealing with a lot of that and with this I made the conscious effort to put a lot of it inside so we didn't have to deal with it, it wasn't, it wasn't uh, as much of a struggle. But with Steen, then I had to find locations to shoot in. So that's something I'm trying to stay conscious of for the next one. But I mean, it's either it's it's devil in the deep blue sea, right? You don't know. It, it's a double-edged sword. Um, so I felt a lot better for the most part shooting this one. Um, except for some periods where I was in complete lethargy and uh, borderline depression. <laughs> but um, it, was, it was a lot more relaxed, to sum it up, on, on this Steen. Um, it wasn't a conscious effort to make it a bigger movie or a longer movie. At least I don't think so. Um, my intention was just to write the next movie, not really caring how long it was. I mean, in a sense, I wanted to see how long I could make it, but there was no real conscious effort to make a bigger movie because mo movie mo problems. <laughs> um, there was a conscious effort to put it, put the scenes inside, though. It was better because I didn't have to worry about things changing. Well, like, except for when I'm when I leave and people rearrange things. But whatever. But working inside, uh, it was stressful because it was kind of, um, for lack of a better word, it was a, a charity um, towards me. Uh, they, I was given the locations. I didn't have to sign the forms and pay for rental and all that. So I was always. And we were always working in very, or at least felt like a very tight time constraint with setup and, and, and teardown. That takes a chunk of, uh, of the, uh, the allotment. So I always felt that stress that, oh no, I gotta get out of here. I gotta shoot this as fast as possible. I'm always thinking, but I wanna shoot as fast as possible in terms of economy, not pressure. Yeah. Um, so, while shooting indoors was a lot better because I didn't have to worry about uh, environmental changes or, or, or any, any major changes that I couldn't really deal with, um, it was difficult because I, I was on a time crunch every time. Except for when I shot uh, at my place. That was great. That was, those two days of shooting were the best. Like everything just flowed because there, no, there was no stress. It was great. Times making fun of Elliot. <laughs> uh, um, there were a lot of Batman references, yep. a lot of gay moments, <laughs> a lot of man love. <laughs> there are things like Dinesh is making faces. I guess as I'd say, okay, action, but then I'd stop and say, oh no, the camera's not in focus. And he'd be like, ready to go, but 
he'd kind of turn and look at the camera <laughs> and make a face. There's a great one that starts off the blooper reel where he's, he's got the dart in his neck and he's just like waiting for me to go, but he's like making faces and all that. Um, oh, there's one I can't remember. We had some good times. When it was like, when we were at Touch, it was Ruby, Dinesh, yourself, and, 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 and myself. Um, those were good times. We had some laughs, Johnny. Being just hey, John. Oh, in the in the valley, they're down in the yeah, yeah Don Valley there, T or Taylor Creek. Um, Dinesh and Johnny, working with them was just great. So it's we had a lot of laughs. The when we were shooting the severed arm, those were that was. I mean that's the that's the part of the script that sold me on making the movie. So actually shooting it. It lived up to it. It was so funny, shooting that severed arm. I think we were all like kids on candy day once we saw the fake blood. The fake blood. The, I have the first take of Dinesh catching the arm and the blood going. He keeps it serious for like two seconds, then he just goes, I can't do this. It's so uh, fun. That was, that was good. Obviously, the script in the movie is my baby, and I want to protect it and and say, "Oh, well, this is this is how I wrote it. This is how it goes, right?" But most of the time, especially with the the guys I was working with, uh, you know, Dinesh and Johnny, they and and um, Adam too, just they had input that was just so great. There were points where um, I would have to put my foot down and say, "No, I mean." Yeah, that's a good idea, but that's not what I want. Maybe, maybe something else, or maybe we'll shoot it as a an extra for the the Blu-ray or something. But it's that's not how it's going to go. Even if we shoot it, I'm not putting it in the movie. Um, so I'm very open to uh, collaboration, but I have to put on my director's hat and say, no, this is this is how it is. Yeah, like I said, they're great ideas, but I just either there was no time to shoot them, or it would have been great to shoot them, but it's just a waste of time yeah. because it wouldn't have been in the movie anyway. <laughs> I mean, it would have been yeah, it would have been great to see Steen working out, and I, I really hope I can fit that in somewhere into a future project. I guess it was the the shootout because I had in the script they have a shootout basically like there was very little description of what actually happens I think there was um, the arm flying off um, and then the beginning where Steen's walking down the trail and the, the bomb goes off but like I had nothing there so when I went to the set we were ready to shoot and I didn't know what we were shooting really like I just kind of winged it no well, that's not I had some I think I had thought it through beforehand and made some storyboards but really I didn't really I didn't have a clear plan of what I wanted to shoot or how I was going to shoot it I had some key points but I didn't really know what I was doing I didn't plan it out and that's my mistake but that that's where it's good to have Dinesh and Johnny around where they can just kind of go with the imp improvisation and add their own um, ideas I guess it was just like the, the meticulousness of it all it's no single part it's just having to go over the same scenes or same shots or same 12 frames over and over and over and over again to make sure everything's just right or to make sure that effect rendered or to make sure um, I painted that out properly or whatever um, Oh, what comes to mind now is um, there's the scene just right at the beginning where um, when Steen's busting in and shooting everyone in the, in the agency and the soldiers fall down the stairs. So one gets shot up on the ledge and then one falls down the stairs. Um, for some boneheaded reason, I didn't lock off my camera, uh, which I should have done because little secret kids, when you're shooting one person as two, you have to split the screen and there's no movement unless you match move and all that so it was one person 
Um, <laughs> so I, I didn't have the camera locked off, so I couldn't do a clean just split of the two, which would have been literally like a 10 second job if that. Instead, I had to go in and cut out the second, the right half of the, the, the frame. I had to cut out, cut out Johnny in every frame. And it got really difficult towards the end because the, the shot wasn't exposed properly. And his black boots bent, blended in with the stairs. So I had to guess where his boots were and cut his feet out. That took, I think I tried three different ways of doing that. And it took me a long time. I mean, I think the whole shot was about a second long and it took me hours. That was probably the hardest single thing. My favorite scene, um, not necessarily for content, but for experience of shooting was the scene with Adam in, uh, or what's his character? Andrew Sullivan. Uh, when Steen, you know, where is he? <laughs> Starts off with the Batman lines. Um, that was my favorite scene because it just, everything worked on that day. Um, Adam was dynamite. Um, technically, everything except the lighting um, was just, it was on. Everything was on. We were all doing great. Johnny was doing audio. The audio, like with pretty much every scene, especially the ones with Ruby, I had um, audio problems beyond anything I thought I'd be able to deal with. Um, but in that scene with Adam, um, even though technically the, or operationally, let's say, the audio wasn't recorded properly, it's just perfect. I had two channels of their voices, so I didn't have to kind of cut and paste audio tracks and things like that. It just, everything worked perfectly. I was able to edit the scene in like an hour, or like I came home, I edited that scene, and it's pretty much as it is. Nice. Yeah, it's just everything went perfect on that day really content wise my favorite scene <laughs> is the the i guess it is the end where um the big revelation happens when steen's re <laughs> reading the papers and he finds out that lucy is really uh, uh jeffrey i edited that scene uh i think there's three versions of it toying with how to do the big reveal and everyone's just amazing this, this, even though we shot it very rushed, I just th kind of threw Dinesh to the, to the wolves to shoot it. I just said, okay, do this, 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 and we had to get out of the place, right? It's just his reactions, the whole, everything, it just kills me. And the kiss. <laughs> the kiss. I don't know why I haven't mentioned that yet. That blew me away. It was, every time I tried to edit that, it took me weeks, weeks and weeks and weeks, many attempts. So I couldn't stop from falling off my chair laughing when editing that. Yeah, th that, that was the funniest thing. That was the most fun I've had shooting, I think, because <laughs> I didn't expect it. I don't know if either one of them expected to do it that way. Jaw drop, hilarious. Dutch is such a champ. He's just, no matter what stupid things I ask him, or even, ex not stupid, but maybe extreme things I ask him to do, he'll do it. He'll give it a shot. He'll have that worry look in his eyes. <laughs> but he'll still do it. Like, he's a, he'll, he'll, he's a champ, really. Dinesh? I, uh, he's just so awesome. <laughs> he is. He's just so awesome. And underappreciated. Yes. He should be a star. <laughs> there were times where I could tell that I was kind of cramping his style, but he was still ready to go with a million great ideas. Um, he would try anything. He was willing. He and Dinesh are very similar, but... Somehow Johnny just had a certain, maybe because he was new, he had a certain kind of magic to him. Like new to me at least. You know. yeah. I would work with Johnny on everything. 
but somehow she had this curse on her <laughs> that whenever she showed up, something very bad went wrong. <laughs> so, something that didn't need to go wrong went very wrong. I don't know. Fair enough. So one word? Yeah. Cursed. <laughs> Elliot, he was my bro, you know. We had, I have some great memories with Elliot, just being, when we first met, we were both in a bad place, and we found kind of equals in each other. And it, it grew from there, finding that he wanted to be an actor and I wanted to make movies. And then the, the team, or the friendship, or whatever, the partnership grew from there. But I mean, like, I, I miss Elliot. We had great times. We had uh, great memories with him. He was like a brother to me in a lot of ways at times. But uh, no, it was just like, it, uh, we had a little a, a wedge come between us called Family Man. <laughs> Adam was great. Like, it's funny, great to work with, very professional. Um, I would work with him over and over again. Um, yeah, he was just everything went right with with Adam. He was he was a surprise. I was surprised at how great of a performance he gave. How great of how great the shoot went with him. And he when he auditioned, I didn't when I saw him like he's not going to be the guy. He's not what I'm looking for. And he auditioned, and he was the guy. Like Dinesh and I just looked at each other and we're like, yeah, that's the guy. So he was he was he was surprised. Paul is such a pro. He's a father figure. He's professional. He was exactly when I wrote the script. I I saw him like when I found his picture. I'm like that's the guy. And great collaborator. Very understanding. Paul's great. As much as I hate you. <laughs> 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 no, and you were a great help. You really were. You were a great help in this movie. Um, I probably would have spent a lot more money if it wasn't for you. And you helped with uh, a lot of the organization uh, of this movie. And uh, you've really dug a hole for yourself now because I'm going to have you help a lot more in the next one. <laughs> You're, I'm putting you to work. I really am. I'm go I'll, see, uh, I'll see where I can. Uh, that's not the right answer. The right no, answer I'm is yes, Mike. <laughs> I'm in. Good, because there was no way you weren't. <laughs> they, were, they, were, they were very supportive, and I'm very thankful for them. Um, I should give them a poster. Did I give them a poster? I don't think so. I should give them a poster. <laughs>